Hi, it's Captain Mike uh, here again with uh, another quick video on things that you can do in your microwave kiln. Uh, previously, we uh, did a bisque from a slip cast cup. Okay, the cup made it just fine, and I'm going to show you that you can also glaze in your microwave oven. These are small projects, but sometimes you just want to experiment. So I put three coats of uh, a, um, let's see, what is this, Duncan's um, Raspberry Ice. And you can see this right here. And it'll kind of come out looking sort of like that whenever it's through. So, as usual, we're going to zap this thing in three minute intervals. It's boring as it can be, I know. And I'll try to edit out as much of it as I can as I look at these things. But we're going to start now with uh, closing the microwave up, putting the top on it, of course, and uh, getting down to business and just see what we can get. So here we go, first three minutes, and I'll be back with you just as soon as this thing uh, times out. Okay, first three minutes has went by. Time flies when you're having fun. Let's see, should nothing shouldn't have happened to it. It looks just like when I put it in there. So we're actually going to zap it a couple of more times. I won't bother y'all with it until it starts to heat up, kind of show you what the stuff is doing. Uh, the little crystal nodules that are embedded in the paint. So uh, let's give it another three minutes and uh, I will get back to you guys. Okay, it's been about uh, 15 minutes. I've zapped this thing a total of about four or five times. And it has just started to heat up. And I'm gonna give you a quick look. Hang on a sec. We'll zoom in here a little bit, if I can do it. And I'll give you a quick look at it's, it, how hot it's getting. See, she's getting red hot. Okay, that stuff's melting pretty good. Oh, let's see, I'm gonna give it about two more, about three more minutes and then we're gonna call it a day. And I'll let it cool and I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, one last look before I let it cool. I'm sure it's hot enough because it was probably hot enough the last time we looked. Got my gloves on this time because it's getting hot here when you open it up. This part is not hot, but when you open it up, it will be hot on the inside. Okay, can any, if you can see it a little bit, it looks like the, the little glaze has done really good. So we're going to stop it right there. It'll take a while for it to cool. And after it cools, I'll come back and show you the finished product. And it's just as simple as it can be. You can make, you can take slipware and all the little stuff. I do a lot of little animals and mushrooms and things like that. Zap them in your microwave kiln. These things have got a lot of different uses. The next one we're going to do is going to be Raku in your kiln. And that's really interesting. Be, pre be ready for the fireworks. Thank you for watching. Okay, this is the, uh, the uh, piece that uh, we use regular glaze on after uh, the bisque, and we did it in a microwave kiln, and as you can see, it come out very good. All of the uh, uh, little crystals melted down, and uh, it looks very nice, so this was success. We did it, it didn't crack, I'm not telling you yours won't, but... I have a very uh, small uh, failure rate. I think I've only lost two the entire time I've been playing with these things. And of course, a word of caution is, before you glaze it, before you place it on your microwave kiln, make sure you get all of the glaze off the bottom. And if you do want glaze on the bottom, make sure you have a piece of shelf paper so that it will not stick. Uh, if you don't, the glaze will stick to the kiln wash and it'll pull it up and then you'll have to repair the bottom but there you go uh, appreciate uh, y'all looking at it and I hope everybody has the same success that I do if you have any questions uh, please uh, put it in the comments or send me a message uh, either way I'll respond and we'll help you out however we can thank you